In this video, we'll take a look at the functions available under the Audio tab in Studio One 3.0. We can normalize an audio region or track, which will amplify the clip to where the loudest peak will be just below zero. We can reverse an audio file quickly here, and strip silence from the file to leave only regions with signal present. A great feature of Studio One is the built-in Melodyne integration, so we can pitch correct and edit in Melodyne directly from within the audio editor of Studio One. This way we never have to leave the Studio One application to do our vocal processing. An obvious benefit to this is if we pitch a chorus vocal, for example, we can copy and paste it around the project and all of the pitch edit data will go with it. We also have the ability to remove Melodyne from any track or regions with this command. We can easily add a fade in from the beginning of the region to where our cursor is with the fade in to cursor command, and similarly create a fade out from where our cursor is with the fade out from cursor command. The Create Auto Fades command adds a quick fade in and out on any region or regions we've selected. And we can create crossfades between two regions easily here. We can quickly increase or decrease our clip volume by 6 dB increments with the Increase and Decrease Volume commands. Detect Transients does just that, and under the Audio Bend panel, we can set and adjust the detection sensitivity and threshold. Bend markers are created which are used to stretch audio inside an audio event without the need for slicing the event into multiple pieces. The default threshold for placing bend markers at transients is 80%, and we can adjust that here. We can remove bend markers here and easily split the region at our bend markers with this command. We can merge individual audio events to a single audio part, and this functionality allows us to group a number of audio events together to a single entity for editing with the ability to dissolve the group at any time with the Dissolve Audio Part command. We can export a region or a part as an audio loop, and an audio loop is essentially audio parts that are tagged with a tempo and rendered with lossless compression. Audio loops allow for quick creation of flexible audio loops from any source. For example, we could take a section of a drum recording we made and turn it into a loop for use elsewhere. We can quickly and easily send an audio event to sample one here, which is Studio One's built-in sample player. Here we can adjust pitch, filter envelopes, LFO modulation, and more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.